Prior to the Silver Eagle in 1986, the largest proof that was being made by the government was the half dollar. And the last silver series is the Franklin. And tonight, we have the finest. And it's not just the finest, it's the finest of two of the coins that are almost not seen in the industry at all whatsoever. Let's go right to the jugular on the numbers. Because of how these were packaged, and again, they were in polypack proof sets, they were not a hard plastic lens, which means they moved around a bit, and that caused a little friction on the coins, there are no 70s. So in today's world, a 69 is near perfect, a 70 is perfect. Back basically prior to 82 with the modern issue kick, there are no 70s. There are no 70s. So on these two coins, the 56 and the 57, there are no 70s. The finest known, the highest grade is a 69. Here are the numbers. Are you ready? There's only 2,129 of the 56 and only 1,051 of the 57. That's it. Now, again, these coins were not made yesterday. They were made almost three quarters of a century ago, and they look this gorgeous still today. Now, let's dig a little bit more into the numbers because it really, I mean, when it comes to perfection, this is it for the Franklin series in proof. There are no 70s in the series. 69s are the ultimate coin to get. In 1956, they made 669,000 in change proof sets. And in 1957, they made 1.2 million. 57 was the first year we went over a million. Remembering again, everybody, proof sets were not available to the American public as a collectible series until 1950. So these are still very early on in the flow of Silver Eagle collecting. I'm sorry, proof set collecting. So when you look at those numbers, 600,000, 1.2 million, and then you look at, well, how few of them are known this nice. I mean, these are known as the finest, period. These are the finest strike out there in grade. 69s, period. Competition, 575 on the 56, and we could not find anybody with the 57. And again, that was 2,129 known to exist and 1,051 known to exist. To put that into perspective today, and I referenced the Silver Eagle a couple of times, that's the big coin today in collecting. Since 1986, it's been the number one collector coin in the world. There was no silver dollar in the 1950s. The last silver dollar was the peace dollar, and that ended in 1935. The Eisenhower came out as a circulating copper nickel coin in 71, but at this time in history, the half dollar was the largest coin on the block. But if you look at the proof silver eagles, just as a reference, right? They make a half million or more every year. This year, the 2023 sold out instantly, and today it's $129, $139 coin just in the original government packaging. But if you look at the two rarest proof silver eagles, you look at how many are in 70, which is what we want today, right? Perfection is the name of the game, and we're all hunting towards it when it exists. This is perfection in the Franklin. Today, a Silver Eagle perfection is a 70. The 2019 S Enhanced Reverse Proof is the coin. Remember late in the year? They, they surprised us all. Earlier in the year, in July, we had that pride of two nations where we had our coin and the Canadian Maple Leaf special coins, and we had the W enhanced at 110,000, and wow, was that fun. And then they come up with 30,000 S's, making it the most limited proof silver eagle ever. 30,000 coins. Within that 30,000 coins, though, the important thing to understand is today, in 70, certified by NGC, apples to apples here from the grading services, there's 9,882 of them, just under 10,000 in 70. That coin in 70 today, because of the low mintage, it's a $4,000 coin. Coin number two, 
Remember 2020, the V75, the special Privy Mark, first time ever, they made 75,000 coins? Well, NGC certified 16,714 of those, which is less than a third. So it's actually, when you look at the numbers, it's significantly rarer than that S enhanced on percentage basis, but on numbers still, 16,000 is always more than 9,000. That's a $1,000 coin today. Both of them beautiful. If you're a Silver Eagle collector and it's not in your collection, we all want it. But when you compare that, a coin from the last five years, to these vintage coins, the quality, proof to proof, there are no 70s, which means a 69 is the finest grade. And you look at how few of them are known. And there are, again, none higher. It's like with a modern issue. There's no 71, right? Well, here there is no 70 because they don't exist. In the 35 years of NGC doing what they do, they have not graded a 70 for these years. Actually, any of the Franklins for that fact. And when you see 2,129 on the 56 and only 1,051, on the 57, it makes you shake your head a little bit. It's like, rrr, 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 rrr. gotta figure this one out. How can a coin that's almost 75 years old, significantly rarer outright, and now certified, this few not there? And the time out here is popularity rules, right? In collecting, we know popularity is one of the top qualifications for interest. You know, a Packard or a vet, right? If you're a collector of cars, if you like true cars, you might love the Packard, but most people love that convertible 57, gotta have it, right? So we gotta remember the popularity index in the Franklin is why the prices are so attractive for how extremely rare these coins are. Guys, we're gonna have to put a one minute clock up. I am down to less than 10. Thank you all for the phone calls. Again, thank you for that as well, avccoins.com. That's the place to be, everybody. They made some major improvements. So ordering via the web now is even slicker than it's ever been. We want you in, we want you as a customer, and we're looking at the best stuff on the marketplace today. Where are the needles in a haystack? These are those coins. They are the rarities, and they're affordable still. And that is the remarkable part. So my next door neighbor, a good friend of mine, coin collector, has an S enhanced reverse proof. I got it, I love it. And it's a $4,000 coin, wonderful. His coin has 9,800 known, and mine, the 57 proof Franklin, only 1,051 known. That coin is five years old, this coin is three quarters of a century old. Which one really holds the weight? And over time, which one's gonna catch up? I love this series, I hope you do as well. Again, patience, my operators are doing the best they can. You can't beat these. Again, my competition's at 575. We're almost half the price. 299.95, the your choice. Don't miss out on these these modern issue kind of, but these rarities that can't be replaced.